My name is Nicholas Brain and I'm the chairman of Warby Group. The company was founded in 1888, 120 years ago, by my grandfather and his brother. The Forby Group specializes in providing engineering expertise and supplying components to the engineering industry in process plant. So you're handling everything from the uh, farm through to the grain terminal, from breweries, cement works, feed mills, both agricultural and industrial process plant. Our main lines of components are connected with the bucket elevator and the conveyors within process plant, which are the heart of those facilities. Our basis has always been engineering and our expertise is in providing the customers with engineering solutions. The company began exporting in the early 1970s and we've progressed to a state now where we have six of our own subsidiaries based in countries across the world. Our subsidiary companies are based in uh, the USA, in Argentina, in France, in Germany, in Thailand and most recently we've opened an office in South Africa. We also sell through distributors, exclusive distributors in, in many countries, whom we regard essentially as our partners. The company is an engineering company rather than a sales and distribution company. We believe that we are engineers selling to engineers. We employ specialist engineers with huge experience in the process industries. We employ here more engineers within the group than we do sales or support staff. Many of our engineers have been with us for a long period of time. But what keeps them in the company and excites them on a daily basis is the challenge of finding solutions to customer problems within the process industry. The focus of the company has always been to provide technological solutions to our customers' problems and much of our product range has been developed by and through discussions with the end user upwards rather than solutions created by ourselves and driven down. In many cases we've developed products specifically for an end user customer and then developed those into a product that we can sell globally because with the benefit of the experience of that large end user that experience in resolving that problem clearly has other applications across the whole industry. Many of our customers have been developed over a long period of time to we have very strong long-term relationships. Many of these customers ring in, they have their personal favorite engineer they want to talk to because he's the one that has helped them previously. And I think it's this bond between the customer and our engineering staff which is the key to our success. The company was originally known essentially for being a manufacturer of elevator buckets and over the years we added to that a range of other components which we found that our customers wanted to buy as a package at the same time as they bought their elevator buckets. For example, elevator belting, elevator bolts, belt joints and then on into providing conveyor chain, really focusing on what are the guts of a process plant, the bucket elevator and the chain conveyor which are really central to operation in that industry. An increasingly important part of our business is in providing preventative maintenance systems for process plants. We began many years ago producing sensors and that's now developed into producing complete systems to try and minimize the inherent risk of grain dust explosions within process plant. The effect of such explosions can be absolutely devastating in terms of the downtime that's caused and of course ultimately may result in injury or death of employees. And over the last 30 years, uh, I mean the problem of grain dust explosion is not new, but uh, over the last 30 years there's been increasing focus from health and safety in a number of countries in trying to reduce the annual incidence of these explosions. Although there's been growing recognition of the inherent risks in process plant, Unfortunately, there's a whole raft of different laboratory trusts unique to each country. For example, CSA for Canada, FM for the United States, the ATEX standard for Europe, the IECEX standard, which is in theory going to become the international standard but has not yet been accepted by many countries across the globe. One of our strengths is that we have invested very heavily in ensuring that our equipment has gone through the independent laboratory tests and been approved by all of these uh, national and international standards. 
and we can provide certification to back that up. The great advantage this offers to the OEM, the constructor, going in to build a process plant is that we can offer to him a common model of one of our sensors or systems which has been approved for the country where he's quoting or building an installation. The developments in electronics move forward at an enormous pace and the challenge for us as a company as the market leader in the field of preventative maintenance and monitoring equipment is to stay ahead of the field by continuing to invest both in research and development and in the people that we employ. The yeah, key element in the service that we offer to you, the customer, is the very detailed technical knowledge of our team of engineers. And the starting point for them, as a principle throughout the company, is to try to establish from the outset exactly what problems you face before we begin to come back to you with bespoke solutions. We've worked very hard at developing our website so that it contains appropriate information to all our customers across the world in their own language and provides them with information regarding the necessary certification in different parts of the globe and provides them with the data sheets and operating instructions and everything they actually require to make a decision on where they're going to source their equipment and whether it's appropriate to their needs. The four key aspects of the business are technology, innovation, quality and value. What we strive to do is to provide advanced practical solutions that are both reliable and affordable to our customer base.